Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, I'm Femke and in today's video I wanted to share with you how I made this like purple chrome and white and purple marble design which I made with Madame Glam gel polishes and their marble inks only. So if you want to know how I made this, please keep on watching. And of course I did apply a shiny top coat on top of the purple chrome and a matte one on top top of the marble just to give it a little extra touch so you want to start off with clean nails as you can see here i had to chop off my pinky nail because i actually was growing out a massive tear and it just fully grew out so i had to cut off the free edge just to make sure the cut was completely or the tear was completely off of my finger but for the thumb as well as the pinky and the ring finger i'm going in with the metallic base coat that is a step that is pretty much necessary because i am going in with the silver metallic or like the chrome um, color and on top of that with the jelly purple color which is from one and the same collection by the way madame glam came out with a beautiful chrome collection and i'm pretty much obsessed so here you can actually see that silver it's kind of like liquid silver or liquid mercury or something like that it looks so cool but the only thing is it can be a little bit hard to apply without any streaks you actually have to let it sit for like a couple of seconds before curing it because otherwise you will have all of your or brush strokes in there and that will definitely be peeking through once you go over it with the um, other metallic color i'm going in with iron woman and this is a beautiful purple jelly kind of like polish but it is perfectly combined with that silver metallic base oh it's so beautiful but yeah just apply it with thin layers you can go over with a second coat if you want to of course you want to cure each layer for 30 seconds in led or a full minute in uv of course depending on what kind of curing lamp you use i only have led light so yeah for me it is pretty easy and pretty quick with just 30 seconds and of course remember to always cap off the edges to make sure that your manicure lasts a longer period of time and yeah just apply as many or as little coats as you want to to get your desired or wanted effect so yeah just cure that and you can go in with your top coat i am going in with the no wipe top coat by madame glam the title or at least the name of the product already explains you don't have a sticky layer after curing this one which is something that i really really like and it gives a really nice high shine as well which was also something i really love whenever i'm doing chrome or metallic -y kind of nails it just has to be shiny in my opinion i just really love that best and of course don't forget to cap off the edge with the top coat as well um and make Make sure that there isn't any gel polish on the skin or the cuticle area because you don't want to cure that into the skin off camera i have already applied that silver metallic base um, as well as the metallic base coat of course and that purple jelly color to the pinky and the ring finger i just did that off camera because it was kind of like similar to what i just did to the thumb so i felt like to not make this video super long just to skip that and continue with the other two nails which I am applying the regular soak of base coat to at the moment and yeah as usual I am working with my non-dominant hand whenever I'm doing any gel designs on my own hand so sometimes I'm a little bit out of frame or a little bit out of focus and it does take a little longer than usual if I would do my nails so just keep that in mind I work with both of my hands and of course the more you practice the faster you will get but sometimes it's still a little bit of a struggle and a learning curve for me as well but after your base coat has cured for 30 seconds I'm going in with two layers of perfect white to each of these nails and just apply it as like 
perfectly as possible especially if you're working with your non-dominant hand it's okay if you spill a little bit onto the skin as long as you remove it in a proper way as well i always remove it with my fingernail but of course i clean off my fingernail with a little bit of rubbing alcohol you can use a brush for that as well but since i am working with my non-dominant hand it works better for me to just remove it with my fingernail and then just clean that off but a brush works really well, especially if you're working on other people or if you're working with your dominant hand. Um, that way you're more steady and it gives the best results. But yeah, it's totally up to you what your personal preferences are, what that matter. Um, yeah, I just cured that perfect white for each layer i applied two layers in total and now i am going in with the matte top coat or it's more of like a velvet matte top coat i have to say if you want to look up any products you're totally free to do so as well as using my 30 percent discount code i always link that in the pinned comment down below as well as in the description box so you can actually use it and save some money on your own next purchase yourself if you want to of course it isn't an obligation or anything but once you've cured your velvet matte top coat i'm going in with the purple ink also by madame glam and this is just a marble ink i pretty much love it the only thing is with this purple for some reason it kind of discolored it kind of went towards blue and then it went towards pink and at the end of my two weeks of wearing this design the purple was like totally vanished and it was just the pink marble which isn't a bad thing because i love pink colors but i think it kind of has something to do with the fact that i'm using pure acetone to actually disperse the color a little bit more and just blend it in but yeah you will see what i mean in a minute and also so if you follow me on Instagram, which is at femkeche.nl, um, you actually saw me sharing some photos of this design or wearing this design and actually see it turn colors within a period of a couple of days. So yeah, that is quite fun to see actually, but I don't. I, I'm not, not sure if it has something to do with the pure acetone, but that is just something that I think is happening um, you could also see it happen in my swatch and review video of the entire marble ink collection that i did a while ago if you're curious about that you can look that up as well i'm pretty sure i've listed it in the gel polish playlist so you can just check that out if you want to um, they are still available by the way but the thing is they are sold out pretty quickly so it kind of depends when you're looking and ordering whether the colors that you actually want are still available or not but here you can actually see while blending the colors you can see the purple turn a little bit bluish a little bit pinkish on the sides it's a really really weird to see but pretty cool at the same time if you know what i mean like i think it is the pure acetone but i'm just not sure um there's also a clear ink that you can use to kind of dispurge um as well as blend the marble inks um, but yeah you can just keep on playing around with it just remove anything with the pure acetone if you want to you can totally remove the entire design if it is not turning out the way you want it to be but yeah you can just go wild with this so you can actually see me apply um, some more ink a couple of times removing a little bit more every now and then and just playing around with it because i didn't really have a plan for the marble or how i wanted the marble to look on forehand so here i was just playing around with it and that is the cool thing about nail art um, nothing is forever and that is in this case pretty positive because you can just remove it if you don't like it and of course um, at least if you don't apply a top coat you can just remove it really easily with the acetone or even with some rubbing alcohol if you prefer using that to blend the marble ink in more 
But yeah, just keep playing around with it, uh, have some fun with it, practice with it on forehand if you feel like doing that, and just create some cool new designs. And again, here you can see once I went in with the acetone, my purple turned bluish. It is so weird. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, just play around with it as much or as little as you want to. And I am going to do my pointer finger off camera. And yeah, to cap in the marble design once it is the way I wanted it to be, I just went in with the velvet matte top coat again, because I felt like that would give such a cool effect, um, like compared or next to the glossy metallic purple nails. Yeah, I don't know. I just was playing around with some different like methods and finishes and techniques and it's just a whole lot of fun to do it's like one of my favorite things to spend my spare time on just playing around with my nails and nail art stuff and polishes and everything like that so yeah i'm pretty curious to hear what you think about marble inks if it is something that you actually use are you good at it? Do you have any tips or tricks for us out there who are still just like a little bit struggling with them? Because, you know, you can have like a perfect effect and then you add a little bit too much acetone or something like that and it's all messed up. If you have any tips or tricks on working with these marble inks, um, feel free and welcome to share those in the comment section down below. But yeah, as I mentioned, once your design is on the way you want it to be, just go in with your velvet matte top coat and cure that for 30 seconds. And that is actually already the entire design. Um, one thing I do want to mention is, of course, I had to chop down the entire free edge of my pinky nail because there was a big tear in there like a month ago and I really had to grow that out so yeah just to be safe I removed the entire tip but I hope to grow it back long again soon but thank you guys so so much for watching I really hope you liked it and as usual I hope to see you in my next video Bye.